Hey everybody, just wanted to share with you a quick tutorial slash demonstration of what I'm doing for the spin now in, in Wormax. So I'd noticed earlier when I was just trying to get some more leaderboard time by taking my worm out to the outskirts and putting it into a spin, I noticed that it no longer stays spinning after tapping the arrow key and then clicking off the browser. You see it just it just continues going straight again. So what I what I was looking into was seeing if I could use a macro. So I noticed that um, there are event types that I can use in iMacros uh, to basically do what I was doing with the arrow key manually with my finger. So um, I'll go ahead and just double click on my Wormax spin macro that I created here um, just to demonstrate. So right now I am holding the arrow key uh, to keep my worm into spin right now. And as we see, if I let go of that key, um, it'll go straight. So if I double click on Wormax Spin, and we can see that's going into a spin again. And I just wanted to share with you uh, the code here for this, which is actually really simple. It's just this one line of code here that I put in my notepad. So if I go ahead and edit this macro, you can see there's just two lines of code here. Uh, line one being what was defaulted. Um, by my current version of iMacros. I just left that in and added a second line with the event type key down with the key number 39 being my right arrow key. And that's it. Um, I just saved that and see when I go ahead and come back into my browser here and move my worm around a little bit. And I can double click or press play, play macro. I can double click on Wormax spin and there we go, we're back into a spin. Um, so I don't know if this is going to be um, a continuing thing with the Wormax.io game, um, if maybe this is just a temporary glitch in the game, but either way, um, this workaround works, and I just wanted to share with you guys, and uh, hey, hope you guys uh, find this useful, and take care.